Have you heard of this quote, history tends to repeat itself? Okay, I think we've all, we all know that, right? Oh. For people who experienced World War II, it repeated what happened in World War I. And if we don't learn from what happened to World War II, there could be another World War III, right? History tend to repeat itself. Yesterday, the first reading in 1 Maccabees, there was this king, cruel king, King Antiochus Epiphanes, okay? And um, so he says, it says here that he made uh, um, an edict, a rule, that all people should be one. All should be one people, and that all should give up their particular customs and beliefs. So he set up gymnasium, you know, and, and um, you know what, what the, what's the, the etymology of gymnasium? It's from the Greek word gumnus, gymnasium, naked, dancing. Gymnasium is a place where people would dance nakedly, okay? So he set up this gymnasium, so he let people dance there, naked. Of course, if you're a Jew, male Jew, people would know that you're a Jew if you're circumcised, okay? So what did they do? You know, the Jews, they uncovered the circumcision, okay? So the Jews gave in to the pressure of this king. They offered sacrifices. They burned you know, th their scripture. It says in yesterday, the books of the law that they found, they tore to pieces and burned with fire, okay? And uh, so we see that yesterday. Today, there's this uh, elder person, Elizar, 90 years old, and he was forced to eat pigs, pig meat, swine, pig. And of course, as you know, for the Jewish people, it's unclean. And they, and, and they were tempting him, you know, eat what is lawful to you and then just pretend that you're eating the unlawful, the unlawful sacrifice. You know, what did he say? He says, I'd rather die an honorable death rather than live a life of disgrace. So he chose that. Uh, and also, uh, they tempted this Elizar, says, you know, if, if, you, if you just obey what we're, what we're trying, asking you to do, you, it says here, you will be treated kindly on account of the friendship of the king. You will be a friend of the king. You will have comfort, okay? You, have, you, you will be placed a place of honor, of power. Tomorrow, in the first reading, there's this mother who witnessed the martyrdom of her seven sons because they also would refuse to eat uh, this unclean uh, food for, for them, okay? And what struck me yesterday in the reading here is, is King Antiochus to form one people. He wants to form one people. And I don't know if it's happening right now or it's going to happen in the future. You know, for the Antichrist to come, he needs to have a structure. He can't just appear. He needs to have a structure for people to support him. Okay? And what's this structure? A one world government and a one world religion. And if there's one world religion, there's going to be one world Messiah, which is the Antichrist. Okay? I don't know if it's happening right now. If it's not, I'm sure it's going to happen in the future. Okay? One world government, one world religion, one world Messiah. It which means all other religions would need to be suppressed, especially Christianity. We're going to be number one enemy, okay? Because for us, we, breathe, we believe in the right of life. We believe in the right of freedom. We believe in the sanctity of marriage. For those who would be in favor of this one world religion, one world government, they would be favored. They would be placed in, 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 in position of authority, of power, 
they will be famous. They will have a lot of wealth. And those who will not be in favor will be suppressed, will be punished, would even be eliminated. Okay? So, again, I'm not here to scare you. <laughs> I hope you're not scared. We should not be scared, right? We're beloved sons and daughters of God. There should be no fear. There should be no fear. Okay? Because the Lord promised us, right? I will be with you until the end of times. In Sirach chapter 2, to my child, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for testing, for trials, for difficulties, for persecution. Set your heart right and be steadfast and do not be impetuous in time of calamity. Cling to him and do not depart so that your last days may be prosperous. Accept whatever befalls you and in times of humiliation, be patient. For gold is tested in the fire and those found acceptable in the furnace of humiliation. Trust in him and he will help you. Make your way straight and hope in him. You who fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Do not stray or else you may fall. The Lord is giving us the grace to persevere. We know, we know, we know what we're going to face. In Scripture also it says, for those who persevere to the very end, they will be saved. 